Welcome back at 713 as we wrap up November. Don't forget it is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. This month is dedicated to bringing awareness to the ways we can all strive to improve not only our lung health, but our overall health. Toro's internal medicine physician, Dr. Skylar Williams, joins us with a look at the effects smoking has not only on your lungs, but your overall health and the importance of taking steps to quitting as soon as possible. Good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. All right, so uh, smoking, uh, I think most people who smoke understand it's a bad habit, and I'm sure at some point have considered quitting. Uh, why is it so important to quit sooner than later? Yeah, well, you want to keep in mind that smoking affects really every aspect of your health. It is not only the main cause of lung cancer and chronic lung disease, um, but it's also been linked to a host of other diseases such as heart disease, strokes, and even other cancers. Um, so it's one of the most important steps uh, someone can take to improve their overall health. And the benefits of quitting smoking um, are, have, are immediate no matter how long you smoked or for how old you are. Right. You know, sometimes, though, people will think, OK, hey, I'm young. I can, you know, take a couple of years of smoking and I'll quit later. Why is that a dangerous, you know, path to potentially take, especially considering how difficult it can be to quit for some people? Yeah. It, you know, every time you smoke, those harmful chemicals that are found in cigarettes or even e-cigarettes now um, reach your lungs. So every time you inhale those harmful chemicals, you're doing harm to your body. Um, when you talk about those vapes, the e-cigarettes uh, that a lot of people are familiar with, I know some legislation just went to, some new rules went into effect uh, governing which could be sold. Uh, some of them have those fruity flavors uh, and people are finding themselves going toward vapes. Not a, a healthy alternative to cigarettes, are they? No. You know, vaping is often thought of being safer than using it uh, than using a cigarette, but vaping causes lots of health problems too. Um, there's a growing amount of evidence that are showing that it also puts your health at risk, and it is linked to asthma, acute lung injuries, and there's also concern for chronic lung disease related to vaping use um, as well. The, the lung diseases are something I think a lot of people might be familiar with when it comes to smoking. Uh, some may not consider the fact that it can also impact your potential to get diabetes. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, smoking has linked to an increased chance of developing diabetes. Patients who smoke have a 30 to 40 percent um, are 30 to 40 percent more likely to develop diabetes than patients who don't smoke. Um, and if you have diabetes and do smoke, it's also likely making the ability to control your diabetes harder and increases your chances of having complications from diabetes, such as vascular disease and retinopathy. All right. Well, lastly, uh, let me ask you this. What's the best path for folks that want to, you know, quit it altogether? What should they do? Yeah. yeah. Studies have shown the best way to quit smoking is through a combination of counseling as well as medications. So it's important to talk with your doctor about resources for both of these things. For example, at Toro, we have a wonderful free tobacco cessation program that provides the counseling needed to help someone in quitting smoking. Your doctor is going to consult with you when you see them to talk about what medications might be best. Um, there's a variety of options available now, some that replace nicotine while you stop using cigarettes or e-cigarettes, and some that help to control the cravings that you get for nicotine. All right. Well, those are some great tips and something to consider right now. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely.